Hi, my name is Callie Chappelle, and today I'm going to explain to you how to use RStudio. This is part of an introduction to R tutorial for the Bio 47 class, which is Introduction to Research in Ecology and Evolution at Stanford University, and these videos recorded for spring quarter of 2020. So I showed in a previous video how you can use R in the terminal. So if I open up my terminal here, I can, if I have R installed, I can type in R and it'll show me what R version I have and I can type in different things here, just like if I was uh, doing any sort of coding just in the terminal. But this is a little bit unwieldy, so we will encourage you to use the IDE R Studio to interface and write R scripts. So the R Studio interface looks something like this. There's kind of four main areas. The first uh, area is your console. So this is similar to what I saw, what I showed you in the terminal, where you can see the commands that you've run and their output, except for plots. I'll get to that in a second. And this is essentially the same as what you'd see if you were just coding R in the terminal. Now, coding R in the terminal is inconvenient because it's hard to click around. You can't point and click at things. You can't save things for later very easily. And so oftentimes when we're coding in R, we'll write what we call R scripts. So this is where you can write commands and then save them and run them later. So oftentimes, like for example, in our class, we give you an example R script called examples.r, uh, where we have a lot of those uh, commands that a lot of that code saved that you can run on your computer and modify as needed. Now over here is your workspace and we're looking at the environment tab here. So this is where you can see objects that you've made such as variables or data frames and I'll be explaining what those are in a subsequent video but those will pop up over here. And then finally down here we have your a workspace where you can find um, for example when you're in the files tab uh, where you can find the files and folders that are on your computer. And also in this tab called plots is where plots will show up. There's other things here that I can explain later, but these two tabs are the ones that are most relevant for us right now. So as I explained, you can use uh, you can write these things called scripts. So an R script essentially is where you can write commands in R programming language and save them in like what you can think of as a document to run or modify later. Now that's not exactly a technical term, but if you're just getting started, it's a way you can think about it. And you can identify which files are R scripts because it'll have a name and then the file extension will be .r, capital R. And so when you're in the R, when you're in R Studio, kind of this top part is where you'll have your R scripts where you can write commands and save them for later. And then you'll see the output down here in the console down below. So that's something that's a little confusing to people who are just getting started programming for the first time and using R Studio. So now I'm going to show you how to make an R script, how to save an R script, and how to open a pre-existing R script. So I'm going to go to my R Studio here. And if I want to make an R script, I can do one, this one of two ways. The, easy, the um, kind of way that's most similar to other things, like a Word document, would be go to File, New File, and choose R script. Another thing you can do is just click this button, and that'll open an R script for you as well. So I'm going to start a new R script. And as I just explained, I can write things in this R script, like, for example, 1 plus 1. And... If I just write 1 plus 1 and hit enter, it doesn't do anything. It just starts a new line. But if I write 1 plus 1 and then hit, um, let's see here, it's control enter on a Mac, um, you will see that that 1 plus 1 was here down here in the console, and the output of that, too, is also here in the console. So you can see up here in our script, we don't have the output of the code that we ran, but the output's down here in the console. So hopefully that's clear. Um, all right, so I just wanted to explain those two things here. So if I wanted to save this R script that I just made, I could go to File, right, Save or Save As. So I'm just going to hit Save. And then I can save it anywhere that I want. So let's say that I want to save it in my on my desktop. Okay, now, of course, that's not always the best way to save things because you can't keep things nice and organized. But just for the purposes of this, I'm just going to call it Test, Save. And so if I look at my desktop, you can see that I have a new R script here, Test.R. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to close our studio and I'm going to close it by clicking on this test.r file. Now, you'll notice that if I just click on it, it's going to try to open it, at least on a Mac in Xcode, it's not going to open it in our studio. So we don't want to do that. We want to right click on our file and go to open with and choose our studio. You can also or and then open it from within our studio. And I'm just about to show you that. So you can see we closed the R script, now we've opened it, um, and we can just continue coding as we were before. But let's say that I just had RStudio open and I didn't have 
um, I didn't I didn't open the script with it. I could go to file, write open file or recent files and find my file from within our studio. All right. So getting back to my PowerPoint, I've showed you how to make an R script, save an R script and open an R script. Now I want to explain to you something called R projects. So of course, this is not a technical description of what this is, but for beginners, you can think of R projects as a folder that contains code like R scripts and data all in one place. So oftentimes you might have be working on um, coding something in R and then have a data set that you want to analyze. And so we encourage you to have the data, unless it's a really huge data file, but we won't be using that in our class, in the same folder as you have your R script. And one easy way that R controls things and just makes it easier to use is create this thing called an R project in the folder where you want to have your R script as well as your data. So an R project will have the file extension .rproj. And again, making scripts in an R project folder or a folder that contains an R project will tell R to look for data files and scripts saved in the same folder as that R project. So I'm going to um, show you an example with our examples.r file from our class. So on Canvas, if you go to the statistics folder, we're in files right now. So files, statistics, you can choose this, uh, this file right here, bio47data.zip. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to hit download. And again, this is I'm an instructor, so this looks a little bit different, but I'm just going to hit allow and have that downloaded and you want to download this file onto your computer where you want to be working out of for this quarter because you'll probably be making different scripts and things like that that you might want to save in the same folder so make sure it doesn't just go into your general downloads folder make sure you intentionally put it in a place that will be useful later but since this is just an example i'm just going to open it as is so it downloaded this zip file and if you click on a zip file it'll unzip it um, and I think on a PC, you might have to right click and choose unzip from the options, but I've unzipped this and you can see there's different things inside. So there's um, a readme file, table descriptions, and you'll notice here's our, our project. This is our, our project that I was just explaining to you about. So what we really want to do is go to examples.r, but the easiest way to do it is actually by clicking on this R project. So what it will do is it'll open the R project in our studio okay so i've got a new r studio open so you can see actually i've got two one is our old one i'm just going to close that so we just have our one r studio open with the r project and you can see here in the files area it's everything that i had that i was seeing in my files pane right so here you can see there's a data folder there's a code folder an output file uh, output folder the csv file and you can see all those same things you can see here right within our studio so to get to the examples.r file, we're going to go to code and then click on examples.r. And you can see that this examples.r uh, script is now open here in our studio where I can look through it. All right, so this just recaps what I just did. So I downloaded the bio47 data.zip file. I moved it to the location I wanted it. I unzipped it by clicking on it. Um, then I opened the R project, which opened in R Studio. Then I went into the code folder and selected examples.r. The next video, I'm going to be introducing you to some basic concepts in the R programming language.